Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Um, so I finished what I wanted to do. We're gonna continue on with the story. We're gonna look around for, look around for this ghost. This is a, a, a supposed ghost. And I'll uh, see what pops up. The statue's from a long time ago, isn't it? That's right. Before the rise of the hieroglyph faith, the, the Gillians worshipped. Uh, what was his name again? Grimnir, king of the gods. Oh, you're... There were actually two chief gods, according to Norse scripture. Grimnir, king of the gods, and Luki, the entangler. It was believed that the world was created by the never-ending feud between the two. Huh. You sure know your stuff, kid. But if those gods existed, how did the Hierarch of Faith end up taking over? Yes, I mean, I'm all for the teachings of the church and everything, but still... At the time, it was said that the gods' final clash would bring about the end of the world. It's theorized that some people converted to the hieroglyph faith to avoid that fate. Really? That seems unfair. But the Norse, god, the Norse gods were well feared, considering how much power they wielded. But another theory states that the hieroglyph faith was utilized to subjugate the nation. Out of the two, I'd say the latter is closer to the truth. So the people ended up using religion for their own convenience? Perhaps the gods themselves were created for the convenience of man. If so, then it only follows that they change by those very same whims. <laughs> I bet the bishops back in town would have a hell of a time hearing this. It's about time for my medicine. If you'd excuse me, I'll just be on my... Wait a sec. There have been rumors of a ghost showing up around here. Do you know anything about it? Ghost. Yeah, that's what we came here to investigate. Is that right? Sorry, but I don't think I can help with whatever it is you're looking for. I see. I'll be taking my leave now. Sure thing. I believe I have seen that boy before. Yeah, I've noticed him around town. It's kind of easy to recognize, but with this wheelchair and all. Poor kid. It must be some sort of condition. Hmm? Dropped his book. What's that? Some sort of notebook? Maybe that boy dropped it on his way out. Nails in the coffin is written by hand on the cover. Nails in the coffin? It doesn't sound like a pleasant read. Uh, we shouldn't look without asking. Well, yeah, but there's no name written on it. Can't know if it's his if we don't check inside. Yufa begins to flip through the notebook. Hmm? Huh? What the? It appears to be an itemized list, page after page. Is this a journal? I don't know about that. A journal's full of things you've done. This looks more like a list of things he wants to do. A bucket list? Then the crossed out items are presumably those which he has already achieved. It looks like he's already done a great deal of these then. All that's left is... Study the Norse ruins outside Val Duke. Work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so I can thank him. Deadbeat? Who do you think that's about? Oh, there's a name written in here. Jules Noah. Noah? Ain't that the name of that famous doctor or whatever? Oh, that's right. I think the Noahs live somewhere in the Noble District. Let's leave it where we found it. No, that's that was a mistake. I, I meant to say let's deliver it. Come on, Adol, let's just deliver it. Here we go. I meant to say deliver it. I'm stupid. My bad. Oh, this is... So is he like... He's like... He's like accepting his death. Right? Is that what I can gather from that? Because he, uh... That's a bucket list, if I ever did see one. Just a moment. 
Oh, what am I thinking? Of course he's not here. Huh? Oh, I beg your pardon, sweetie. Who did you say you were again? We're here to see if Jules is home. Oh my! Are you friends of Jules? I'm Jules's mother, Pamela. It's a pleasure to meet any friend of Jules. Please, do come in! Oh, actually, we were... Oh, I insist. You really must come inside. I will not allow any of Jules's friends to stand outside like strangers. Well, you heard the lady. Gotta do what we gotta do. Jules, your friends are here! My friends? Oh, it's you. Imagine my delight when I met all of your wonderful friends! Don't mind me. I'll just be over here preparing a pot of tea. Uh, oh, y you don't have to, ma'am! Don't bother. Why is that? She's always like this with guests. There's no talking her out of it. I'd appreciate it if you'd humor her by sticking around for a while. Sure, we don't mind. Why not? Might as well. Thanks. So, what did you want to see me for? My notebook. You came just to give this to me? Sorry for the trouble. But I guess we're even since you peeked inside. It wasn't me. <laughs> How did you know? Well, I had a small slip of paper in it so I could tell if it was opened. And now, it's missing. <sighs> and it looks like the answer to the mystery is written on her face. Uh, that's a pretty nifty trick. For a kid, maybe. You had good intentions, so I'll let you off the hook this time. I can't hold it in anymore! Tell me, Jules. What? He's Renegade, right? You're the Renegade, aren't you? <laughs> it was obvious. He sounds like him. 100%. Wait, what? I suspected he was, too. Hmm. And what makes you think that? I thought I recognized your voice from somewhere. And how many boys your age speak the way you do. Okay, he's very kind of mature. It wasn't my intention to mislead. Not like what the white cat was doing. And I'm certainly not going as far as hiding my real identity like the Crimson King. A swift confession. Maybe I should have thought twice about speaking to you at the cultural heritage site. I knew you'd all find out eventually, but it's not any less troublesome. Oh, really now? You haven't seen troublesome till I've asked you all my questions. <laughs> First question. What's that wheelchair for? This? I was never able to stand on my legs. Really? Uh, no kidding. Are you ill? Something like that. I've had a weak constitution ever since I was young. This is the last monstrum, right? I think we've currently we found them all at this point. I'm sure this is going to be your next question. So I'll just answer it for you. Nobody knows what my disease is. They said it was incurable. Even the top doctors in Balduke gave up on finding a cure. As time goes on, my body gets weaker. I'm told I'll be lucky to live to 20. Damn. And that's why he's got the bucket list. Unfortunately, joking isn't one of my strong suits. 
All I know is that when I become the Renegade, I can move my body again. I have a Prillis to thank for that. I'm sorry. I had no idea you were going through something so terrible. If you don't mind, I have a request for you all. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Just treat me like you treat anybody else. I'm tired of people walking on eggshells around me just because I'm sick. Hmm. I don't blame you. But don't get me wrong. I assure you that it's not like I've abandoned my will to live. But after being frustrated with my body for so long, I've accepted it. Accepted what? Accepted that at my age, every breath could be my last, and that I should live and die in my own body, on my own terms. To that end, I wish to leave this world without any regrets. That's all there is to it. Jules. Then that nails in the coffin notebook we found. That's right. It's my bucket list. The name was to remind myself that I need to finish it before I go six under. I want to do everything I can to help. I'm sure you do. But I have to respectfully decline. Yeah, I thought you would. Otherwise, I'd just be using my disease as an excuse to get people to do things for me. I'd like to do it on my own. So you can just leave me be. Ouch. Uh, if that's what you want. But we're friends, aren't we? We'll just do what we always do. That's right! The Crimson King has an insatiable need to do good deeds. He's got his sights set on helping you, so you're just going to have to suck <laughs> it up. Oh, so now you're threatening an invalid. Well, all I ask is that you don't give me any help that I don't request. By the way, that ghost at the cultural heritage site you've been looking for? It was him. That's me. Yeah. You were the ghost? More and more people have been desecrating those ruins lately, so I used my gift to scare them off. That official claimed she was investigating, but she was only adding to the damage. I have a hunch she learned her lesson. never have guessed that Renegade, that Jules was going through so much. Nothing wrong with accepting your own fate. I always thought there was something wrong with that kid, but I get it now. I don't know if I can pretend like nothing's happened next time I see him. Did he not request you to refrain from doing just that? I believe it would be best if you did not overanalyze your behavior. Yeah, just act like we always do. Normal. That can be normal. Normal is easy. They're gonna blow it. By the way, didn't Dr. Noah used to be a famous doctor? Right, Jules' dad was a doctor. I didn't see him at the house, though. Maybe something happened? Smirnov Noah, huh? Pretty sure he's at, a, he's at the prison. He is? Are you insinuating that he was implicated for a crime of some kind? In the world outside of your fairy tales, you don't have to be guilty to be incriminated. When Smirnov first got arrested, I heard something about him having a sick kid. I remember because the knights had their trousers in a twist over it. Jules' dad was wrongly imprisoned. As was Parks and the others here at the Dandelion. Uh oh. Oh, is that the dual moon thing? This again, huh? Not that I'm complaining. Be careful, everyone! It's the full moon Grimwald! Oh. Uh... This is gonna be hard. Jules, we've just got to act normal, okay? Hey. Yes? Do you think the barrier at the gate will disappear once the full moon Grimwald is over? Who knows? Maybe it will, <laughs> but maybe it 
it won't. It won't be easy. But as long as we act normal, we can get through this together. Huh? What are those goofballs <laughs> doing? It appears they are overcompensating. What a mess. All right, Adol. Now that the tension's been broken, let's get on with this. Monstrums. Ah, uh, this is gonna be annoying. Protect this fiend from the Lemores. Right, watch everything be like level 45. I'm gonna cry. Full moon's load. You would do well to prepare yourselves. Oh, that's a little bit. About to lose two of our I'm feeling my 
ball, man. What is up with this like this mob is flying her? <laughs> Just a mite safer. Now. We've got company. Way five. Let's do this. All yours, that all. Yo, 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 get off of me, get off of me. No, no, no. What is happening? Stop, stop, stop. Stop, guys. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Please stop them. Please stop them. This is bad. This is really bad. Stop. Stop them. Oh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose! The ambush, man. Damn it! Where's my load at? I got a noble district all oh, safe. I might need to soup up our def um our our sphene before we, we jump into this one. Cause damn man, that was way too quick. They were like just wrecking my my sphene. Which was ridiculous how much they were taking off of it. I can do that at um at Dogies, right? I think. I think. I'm not sure. here guys leave a like subscribe to your friend i'm <laughs> going to i'm gonna mess around um if, if the next part that we do come back on we will probably have that beat uh but for now i i want to i want to grind up uh j just to get stronger in terms of um in terms of my 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 uh my protection on my my sphene and all that other good stuff uh but yeah i will see you then <laughs>